Hey, it's Jonathan Soul Sales at Mitchell Lincoln, and today I'm sitting in a lovely Nautilus. This is a 2019 Lincoln Nautilus Select with the cappuccino interior. And um, what I'm going to talk about today is a little Apple CarPlay. All right, so uh, I've got it turned on accessory here, and uh, the first thing I'm going to do is plug this in so it reads it. I've got it plugged into the USB port right here below. Uh, so this door here uh, is where the USB is charged. And you can see it's uh, asking me to unlock the iPhone to use accessories. Go ahead and unlock it here. Goes ahead and detects that I have an iPhone connected, Apple CarPlay. Some sync services uh, will be replaced while connected. I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue here. And it's, it's automatically connecting Waze. And of course, uh, Lincoln's really been pushing Waze. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And uh, just a couple of disclosures here. Go ahead and hit agree. I'm going to go ahead and skip the step for 911 assist setup. And there you go. Beautiful, easy Apple CarPlay. Uh, still has a touch screen. So uh, on the steering wheel, you can control a bunch of these things. Uh, it's showing that I'm connected to an accessory here showing uh, that I've got cell service and Wi-Fi. Here's my home button, most recent apps right here. Of course, this is just touch, so I do have Waze loaded on here. Uh, let's see what it's saying on the phone. Well, I think I did, thought I did this the other day. Anyway, so we're connecting now to Waze. All right. So um, just setting my phone down there and I can control everything I need to right here. Look at the different maps, uh, go around, um, set uh, you know the, what I wanna see here with Waze. Um, it also track, of course, your miles per hour, which is pretty neat and something you expect here in the, um, can scroll the map around. And what this is using is the data on my phone. Of course, I'm connected to Wi-Fi here and I haven't done any test on this, but I believe when you activate the modem in the system here, if you uh, continue to pay for the Verizon uh, Wi-Fi, uh, that you can connect to that Wi-Fi here and save, but it's kind of like paying for two data plans, so you can make the decision on that. Uh, jump over here to messages. Uh, if I want to send a message real quick, again, touch screen, I could just say- Who do you want to send it to? A phone number, 334-718-0504. What do you want to say? Yay, Apple CarPlay. Your message to plus one, 334-718-0504, says yay, Apple CarPlay. Ready to send it? Send it. Okay, it's sent. So you see for limited distraction, it's not gonna show any um, words on the screen. If I hit this right here, it would actually read the last message. Or because the last one was ones I sent, I'm gonna cancel that. Um, so if there was a new message that came across, it would show uh, a new message, then it would read it to you. So again, no distraction, keep your hands on the wheel and not have to worry about that. Um, again, go over here to music. Got my uh, my boys, the, the Beatles, go ahead and hit play for a little bit. Can control the volume up here. Of course, I don't own the rights to this music. So go ahead and pause that. And uh, you can you know loop that and go back and forth. You can also uh, go back and look at some of your stuff here. Uh, scroll down, artists, genres, songs. You can browse and do different things. So very intuitive. Uh, let's go back over here, go back to uh, normal Apple Maps. And again, this phone is currently running iOS 12. So uh, iOS 13 for the first time ever is uh, revamping the Apple Maps, or I'm sorry, the Apple CarPlay and Apple Maps. So some of this stuff will be a little bit different. But again, everything's pretty neat here. Uh, again, everything's touch on the Lincoln. And uh, if you wanna go back to the sync system, just hit this Lincoln button there goes right back and uh, if you want to go back to Apple CarPlay you can this button right here takes you right back and uh, or if you want to you know go to the radio 
or whatever the situation is. Right now, it's showing my iPhone's connected. I can click over here to the to the uh, radio again. Go back to Apple CarPlay. Click over there. I'm gonna change the music again. I can do that, or I'm gonna turn it off at this point and go back to Apple CarPlay since I don't own the rights to that music either. Um, so again, pretty neat, pretty quick, really easy. And uh, of course, that automatically detects that when you plug it in. So this is on the 2019 Lincoln Navigator Select. Uh, Reserve has this. I, I believe the base uh, Nautilus has this as well. We don't stock many of those. If you have any questions, give me a call, 334. Well, you, you know the number. Who do you want to send it to? 334-718-0504. I'm Jonathan Soul Sales at Mitchell Lincoln. If this gave you some information that you appreciate, go ahead and hit that like button. I would appreciate you to subscribe to my channel for more Mazda and Lincoln videos uh, and maybe a little bit of uh, Apple and iOS stuff because I'm a big uh, geek when it comes to that. Uh, comment below with any questions and please subscribe to my channel. I can't, can't uh, express that enough. I appreciate all my subscribers and try to give you the best information and most relevant information to help you in your vehicle. I wanted to show you real quick. Um, I, I did have music and Apple CarPlay pulled up again. So over here, it also shows on your LED screen up here. And uh, of course you can always control the volume as it uh, up or down there, right on the steering wheel. So again, this is designed to just be a part of your infotainment system here, not anything, um, not any hassle. Um, so again, I appreciate you watching and I uh, can't wait to see you in a Lincoln.